I need to talk to you about the implications, not for intervention as such, but for thinking about what we all are doing as we change after 8 to 12 hours on the screen. You and I know you at least are at least similar to me in that you are on the screen reading, and the characteristics of the screen are different. Now, one of the first questions is, you know now we have a very plastic circuit that reflects what's asked of it. What are the implications inside a milieu that emphasizes speed, immediacy, multitasking, continuous partial attention? So the question becomes, whether the affordances of reading on screen will lead us to a new, a very different reading brain, one in which text length, text complexity, density of thought, density of syntax, and the reader's memory and attention are changing, are challenging. Here is a piece of the cognitive evidence, if you will, and part of my work is to really try to understand what those changes are from every standpoint. Um, from the standpoint just of reading behavior, think to yourself, skimming is the new way to read. We zigzag, you word spot, you browse, you graze. You are not reading in the same linear ways that we have done before. Average attention span? looks about half of what it was with implications for memory. So studies on memory, and that's what, of course, you consolidate when you allocate time to it, memory seems to be diminishing by about half as well. Now, what are some of the sources of that? Do you know how many times our youth between, well, let's just say 20, are distracted in a given hour? 27. 27 times, and I'm not looking at anybody in particular. This is not a damnation. This is just a fact. Most of our children and youth are basically using multiple digital devices, and they are multitasking. That's a whole set of questions I'm happy to answer. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Whole lot of interesting mixed research on multitasking. But by and large, they're moving like moving like this way. Now, it's one thing for us who have formed reading brains. It is another thing for our young who are distracted. What are the implications for them? And I will certainly say this is not just for them. The decreased focus attention is in us as well. And that's a very big story that some of you might want to probe with me afterwards. But some of the interesting things that, in fact, last week I did one program on NPR in which the, the announcer was saying, my reading has changed. My experience of reading has changed. My ability to immerse myself in reading has changed. What are the factors, and there are many, that go into those changes? 